Hi, Josh Weaver here from Testing 1 to 3 Reviews, and here I have the only one in the country. This is a John Sewer Guthrie Govan signature model. Now, Guthrie's got two signature models. This is the latest one. The first one had, featured a mahogany neck, mahogany body, a uh, flame make the top, and a bolt on neck. Whereas this one features an all mahogany body, all mahogany neck, but a neck through construction here. So you've got really nice, easy, easy upper fret axis. And then you've got a rosewood finger, 24 frets, spurs or locking tuners, compound radius on the fretboard. You've got a goto tremolo system, uh, which if we flip over to the back, is got a very neat little design. If Hopefully you can see here, you've got a, a, a bar with some screws on it, and this is called a tremel nose. Now, um, Guthrie uh, designed this so that you can use your trem, but if you've got to do songs that have like alternate tunings and stuff like that, you can block it off by simply turning the screws and tightening up the bridge. So, um, if you're uh, just playing something and you try to do some like unison bends, even something simple. string goes a little flat so what you can do here is just tighten up the screws and then you can do a unison like pedal steel licks like this and you don't have any problem with it going out of tune so that's one very cool feature on this guitar and now moving on to the pickups We've got um, all Sur pickups, of course. You've got an SSH Plus in the bridge, quite high output, really nice pickup. Uh, I think it's a V60 LP or maybe a um, Fletcher Landau in the middle, single coil, and then an SSV hum humbucker in the neck. You've got a master volume and a master tone. The tone is also a, it features a coil tap, and you it um, only applies to the neck pickup, so you can coil tap that to get a nice stratty sound. Um, you've got five-way switch and then this little black button here which is called the blower switch and um, basically the idea is um, Guthrie uh, comes from like this, the era of just having a single channel amp and cranking it all the way up getting your distortion sound and then using your guitar's volume to uh, get clean sounds and stuff like that so to make it easier um, he designed this system where you could set a clean sound. Uh, so at the moment I'm running through the Ignatius Tour Master 4100 on Overdrive 1, fairly high gain. Uh, but what you can do is roll the volume off to like almost zero and have like a nice in-between sound. So I'll give you a reference to what that is. Sounds like that. Now if you're playing in a band, or in a, any live situation, and uh, the, the verses of the songs are clean, but then uh, you need to get a distorted sound for the choruses, or a solo section maybe, uh, you have to flip your pickup switch back to the bridge pickup, put the knob down, roll your volume up, it's all too much hassle. So what Guthrie did was design this blower switch, so you can go from having a nice clean sound, so something like that, and then you hit the blower switch and it goes straight to the bridge pickup, full volume, straight to the output jack. So you can go for a sound like this. Press the button. Press the button again and you're back to clean. Very clever system. And um, I'll give you a quick few sound clips, clean and dirty sounds, so you can, so you can hear what the, all the pickups sound like, and hope you enjoy. Okay, so I've got the SSH Plus um, on the clean set on the Clean Vintage 2 on the Ignatius Tour Master, and it sounds really nice and warm. Which for a quite high output pickup, it's got a lot of clarity, a lot of warmth, not too bitey, but when you start digging in with your picking hand, it can get a bit more bitey. Like that. Uh, moving to position two, it's uh, inside coil on the SSH Plus combined with the middle pickup, and you can get a very spanky sound. You can get that sort of sound. And then um, middle position, Guthrie likes to call this his uh, kind of inbred uh, redneck sort of sound, gets you some really cool country, country toes. Sounds really cool. And then uh, position four, gets 
see this shows up. sound and then finally the neck pick up sounds really nice and then you uh, chord tap it by pulling out the tone pot and you get a kind of Hendrix sound and then combining that with position 4 with the middle single coil you get this sound Now I'll move on to uh, Overdrive 1, and, and here's the SSH Plus with a bit of distortion on it. Staying mid-range punches, just a really great guitar. I mean, Guthrie grew up on, uh, grew up playing like Gibson SGs, and he wanted to get that really mid-range Angus Young sort. Of thing. <laughs> those sort of sounds so this guitar can really do that and then um, so often um, when you've got a 24 fret guitar and you have a neck humbucker you don't some, sometimes you don't necessarily get the, uh, the same sound if you've got like a 22 fret guitar but on this it works out really well you can still get this sound. enough of that so it sounds like a neck pickup and then um, finally moving on to Overdrive 2, the lead sound and this guitar sounds incredible. <laughs> That was just flicking from the SSH Plus to the neck pickup. And I'll give you another demonstration of the blower switch. So I've got position four on the selector switch, core tapping the uh, neck humbucker, and the volume is just about one on the dial. So you've got this sound. Still, got, still clean, but got a bit of grip to it. fantastic guitar, really, really elegant and sounds amazing. So that's about it for this. Um, thank you very much for Guitar Guitar for letting me come down here to try all the Ignatia and Sur stuff and I hope you enjoyed all the videos. Take it easy.